Hey everyone, it's Tim again, and I'm here just to bring you a really short video on how to actually get a free SSL certificate. Uh, so SSL is, you know, everywhere on the internet, and it's that little lock icon up in the top. You know, you can click on it, it says your connection is secure. So SSL is super important, and there is an awesome nonprofit organization called Let's Encrypt, and they've been around for a while, and they are essentially a organization that is allowed to issue uh, trusted SSL certificates and they have an awesome uh, s command line tool that you can use called CertBot and it's ex extremely incredible and uh, you can get wildcard certificates so any kind of subdomain you want plus the root domain as well as just you know one-off 90-day certificates and they expire in 90 days but you can always renew them and there's actually a process to even do that on a server uh, and just have it done, you know, in the background. You don't even have to mess with it again. There are, of course, you know, those people who have uh, shared servers like I do. So this is a cPanel instance I have on a, with a company called A Small Orange. Uh, great company. Highly recommend. Um, they're all shared instances. And if you were to try to SSL to your shared instance, you do not have uh, sudo or access. So you can't run or install any kind of tool like CertBot unless you have uh, you know, admin access at the SSH level. A lot of people don't have that, and so today we're gonna you know, install an SSL certificate uh, you know, for free, essentially, using CertBot, but if you don't have access at the actual uh, server that you are trying to in, uh, apply SSL to. So, there are two services out there, uh, zerossl.com and SSL for free. This site, used to be super easy you would just you know type in you know my domain and oh that looks bad yeah mydomain.com and you know and it would automatically give you an ssl certificate for mydomain.com and www.mydomain.com uh that is interesting that they say it's fast reliable and free but there's a pricing tab and obviously you can see that you only get three 90-day certificates and i have confirmed with them that these 90-day certificates actually mean you can only get three certificates ever on an account before you just are no longer able to get any more. Obviously, if you pay them $10 a month, you will get infinite 90-day certificates, three one-year certificates, and that doesn't make any sense because you still have to pay $10 per month, even though if you get a one-year certificate, you're secure for the year. So I don't quite understand who would ever buy this. Um, and I think it's kind of a scam, but that's just my opinion. SSL for free, another website, you used to just be able to type in, you know, any domain that you own, and you could click create free SSL certificate, and, oh, well, here, let me show this, actually. And it would bring you to a sign-in page. It brings you to a sign-in page now. It used to just be, oh, here are the files you need to download and upload to verify your server, and to verify that you own the domain, and here's your certificate, and you're you know, off to the races. So what happened? Well, it looks like SSL for free has been acquired, I guess you would say, by Zero SSL. And this is here, powered with Zero SSL. So when you try to create an SSL certificate, uh, let's see, go to login here. This is just you know a 10 minute email kind of thing, a fake password, um, you can see uh, you're on zero SSL now, which means, you know, you still only ever get three certificates forever for free. And otherwise, you can keep creating infinite emails and creating accounts. Um, honestly, is an easier way to do it. Um, this is going to be for Mac, but if you don't have a Mac, you can actually do this on, you know, an Amazon server if you have AWS for whatever reason. Um, either way, you just need to get access to uh, a Mac or a Linux console that you can then you know copy paste from essentially so what we're going to do is we're actually going to do what these services do for you that you have to pay for we're going to do them for free so to get started you'll see that i have a subdomain of a domain that i already own that is uh, ssl.timothycaramba.com you can see that the connection is not secure at this time so what we're going to do is we're going to just pop open a terminal all right and if you are on a Mac, you can do this. If not, you'll have to see what package manager you're using. But if you were to just do brew install certbot, uh, that will install the Let's Encrypt certbot for you, which is what we're going to be using today 
to issue SSL certificates for the subdomain of uh, timothycamera.com, ssl.timothycamera.com. Um, as you can see, mine is already installed. Uh, whoops. Cert bot, not vert bot. You can see I'm on Certbot 1.6.0, and today is July 13th, 2020 just so in case you need to reference when we're doing this. So there's actually a pretty hefty command that's gonna be put in here. I'm just gonna copy it here and I'll, uh, I'll paste it here and I'll go over what it is. So Homebrew installs a, uh, as it installs Certbot as a pseudo executable, which means that you'll need to have admin access on the MacBook that you're trying to run this on, which if you're borrowing a MacBook, you probably don't have. So again, you should probably only run this on your own personal MacBook. And then we're gonna say, okay, we're gonna call CertBot, and then we're gonna get Cert only because all we're trying to get is a certificate today. We're not trying to do any kind of automated updating or renewal. And then we're gonna run this in manual mode. And then hyphen D is actually the command that you wanna issue SSL certificates for. So we wanna do our subdomain of ssl.timothycarenbad.com. This could be, you know, just, you know, example.com or any, whatever the name of your domain is. If there is another domain like that you would want to issue an SSL certificate for, like let's just say you support www for your website, then you would want to do hyphen D www dot, you know, and in this case we do SSL dot Um I don't support www because uh, this is already a subdomain, so that would be a sub subdomain. Um, we're just going to do SSL uh, dot com, and then we're going to do agree hyphen TOS. Uh, and that's just automatically agree to the terms of service. Manual public IP login is okay. It lets let's encrypt know where what IP this certificate was requested from or ordered from. Uh, preferred challenges. This is what's important. There's two types: HTTP 01 and DNS 01. We will not be doing DNS verification. Uh, we're going to be doing HTTP verification. It's much quicker. Um, if you're trying to issue a wildcard certificate, so for example, like asterisk dot domain dot com. Uh, where you want to just cover any subdomain in your domain, that can only be done with DNS verification. Uh, the server uh, uh, argument is actually the Acme server that's monitored, that's owned by Let's Encrypt, and it actually will be, uh, it's kind of like the repository for all the public uh, requests of Let's Encrypt uh, certificates. And then we're going to do register unsafely without email. Uh, we're only doing that because this is a temporary domain, and we don't plan on renewing it because I'm going to get rid of this whole thing after we're done. Uh, and then we're going to have RSA key size of 4096. RSA is the type of encryption that is used. We're doing key size of 4096 is the only one that I think they take, but I, they may do others. Um, but either way, what we're going to do is we have this hefty command and this will be uh, in the uh, description, but we should be able to just click enter. And because we're running a sudo, we'll need to know the password for the computer that we are running this on, which is just my MacBook. So I know that password and you'll see we're doing some stuff. Okay, and we got some output. So it immediately tells us to create a file containing just this data and it gives us a very interesting string and then it says make it publicly available on your web server at http ssl.timothycamera.com and then it's, uh, it's a folder called dot well known and then another folder called Acme Challenge and then actually a file that has no extension. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy the name of this file and we're going to go into the file manager on cPanel. We're going to navigate to the domain, which is ssl.timothycarron.com. Here is that index HTML file, just all by its lonesome. We're going to create a new folder, like they said, dot well known. We're going to hop into that folder, create another folder, and this one's going to be called Acme Challenge. We're gonna hop into that folder and now we're gonna create that file with no extension. Uh, the default permissions for files of 0644 are actually totally okay. We would then want to edit this file and we want to put into it this con these contents, which you'll notice that actually the first, it's just two hashes separated by a period and the first part of the hash is actually the file name. Um, if for whatever reason that is in, of any importance to you. We're gonna save those changes and now let's verify that the file is accessible by the URL that they are gonna to use to verify uh, that we own this domain. And there we go. We've got the uh, full contents of the file just being shown there. 
And what we're going to do now is just press enter. Waiting for verification, cleaning up challenges. And look at that, we're done. So it says, congratulations, your certificate and chain have been saved at you know this particular uh, file. There's a full chain.pem and a privkey.pem. These are important. Um, and also it says, if you wanna ever just renew these certificates in the future, you can run certbot renew. Um, you have to have started the certificate at least on this local computer. If you ever need to reissue it, it's actually the same process. Um, keep in mind that you will need to do this every 90 days for HTTP verified uh, verified certificates. So you'll, you'll be notified of that. Usually your, uh, your website or your, the person that you manage the website with will notify you that your SSL certificates are about to expire. But anyway, let's get installing this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here and we're gonna go to SSL TLS. It's in the security section of cPanel. Then we're gonna go to this last option, install and manage SSL for your site. If you do not have this option, then you will need to contact your support and give them the same information we're about to copy paste. So you can see, we scroll to the bottom, it says select the domain. We know that we're trying to do SSL, wherever that is, ssl.timothycarambat.com. And it's asking us for a certificate, a private key, and a CA bundle or certificate authority bundle. Here is how you get them. So what we're gonna do is this full chain.pem, if we just run cat, which we might not be able, let's see if this, uh, we're gonna Rutz Encrypt Live SSL, that, yeah. And then we're gonna run full chain.pem, probably won't be able to do that yet, it's gonna be a protected file. Um, that's kind of the only downside when you're doing this kind of stuff is you keep having to put sudo in front of everything. Anyway, it puts out this two actually um, RSA keys. Uh, the bottom one is your CA bundle. The top one is your certificate. So what we do is we just want to copy this certificate part. And we want to click copy and paste. And you'll see it actually already finds that the domain is, you know, Timothy Karambat. It's issued by Let's Encrypt. Key size is exactly what we said it was. And we also know when it expires, October 11th, 2020. And then now we want to get the second part, which was uh, actually just priv key. Now, you don't want to do what I'm doing where I am showing my entire private key on stream because somebody with, you know, a lot of time on their hands could copy and paste it. You never want to share this private key with anybody. But because I'm destroying this private key, it doesn't matter. Um, so you'll see the private key is now pasted. And then the CA bundle, uh, you don't even need to put it in. Um, it, in most cases, it'll go to the issuer and grab their CA bundle. So we'll just click Install Certificate. And you'll see SSL is now active and accessible via HTTPS on this domain. Click OK. Cool. Now you'll notice we refresh this page. We're still at uh, HTTP. If we were to go HTTPS, S, colon, slash, slash, look at that. We now have a, like, like, a lock icon and our connection is secure. And there you go. I mean, every 90 days you'll be notified that you need to, uh, you're gonna need to renew these certificates, but that's pretty much all you need to do. And it is the same exact process that Zero SSL and SSL for free offer you that you have to pay for. Don't pay for it, do it for free, and let the internet be a safer place by keeping your SSL certificates up to date. And that's it, just a small little fact. You all have a great day.